Already happy Monday afternoon. Your full weather forecast brought to you by Ruth and Whippy's restaurant in Hancock. Now hiring for all positions. A small credit advisory was in effect earlier this morning. It's done. It expired at 9 a.m. So now we're looking pretty good moving forward as the area low pressure that sparked it offshore has now pretty much moved out. But otherwise, look at this. Lots of sunshine. It's looking very nice out there, though. And we're going to stay nice today in the parts of tomorrow. In fact, the next several days looking very nice, at least until Friday night before chances for showers move in by that point. Bigger picture though, we have high pressure right about in here that's keeping us dry, eroding precipitation as it tracks off towards the south and east from this system up in parts of Canada and across parts of the upper plains as well. This will be tracking east soon though, so I'll give some parts of the region, at least across parts of the upper Midwest and other parts of the U.S. some uh, precipitation, but for us with high pressure right overhead, we're dry for most of this week. So moving forward, though, let's bring all that down. Pretty simple forecast with a lot of sunshine today, maybe a few clouds later on tonight, but as we head towards tomorrow. You might notice some fog in a few spots, but I think most of us will be okay. Any fog that is available will be burning off. We'll be under a party cloudy sky for the day on Tuesday. We have better opportunities for fog as we head towards Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Of course, we'll have some sunshine mixed again, so any fog that is developed will burn off as we head towards Wednesday morning pretty quickly. Let's look at the average high temperatures. So this is what this is the temperatures we did do the last several days. So overall, not too far from average with the exception of Sunday, running around 12 degrees above normal as we had 76 degrees yesterday. Our average high temperature, though, this is what we should be doing. 64 degrees. We'll do the lower 70s today. Lower 80s Tuesday. Back in the mid 70s Wednesday and Thursday. Lower 70s for your Friday. The cool down continues Saturday and Sunday with lower to middle 60s. That will be on the way. Otherwise, though, let's talk about the fall foliage. I know many of you are getting outside and really enjoying the fall colors. And it's definitely looking very nice with around 50 to 75 percent coverage at that point, though, with the orange shade being indicated here. So there it is. Bangor, Ellsworth and Greenville. Definitely looking very nice, 50 to 75 percent co coverage, and Millinocket 25 to 45 percent coverage. Here's another map that tried to make an early appearance earlier. Usually at around early to mid October is when we should be seeing the peak of fall colors and these colors here. We're getting close to that, so now it's definitely a good good time to enjoy the fall colors while you can. Here's your forecast for today: lower 70s and a lot of sunshine. That north wind getting up to around five miles per hour. Later on tonight, lower 50s becoming mostly clear. That southwest breeze at around five miles per hour. Tomorrow, lower. 80s, partly cloudy. Northwest wind at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Ruth and Wimpy's restaurant extended forecast will be partly cloudy for the day Wednesday and also Thursday with temperatures in the mid 70s will be in the lower 70s for your Friday with a mostly cloudy sky.